Hey, good Tuesday morning, everybody. Uh, enjoy today. We have some very significant changes that move in late tonight and especially tomorrow as uh, winter returns quite abruptly here across the region after kind of a spring-like stretch here. Uh, the good news is we'll turn back to kind of milder temps by the weekend, but yeah, we've got a quick hit of winter that will come in for the rest of the week after today. Um, now, our cold front's gonna move through overnight. And behind that, we should see uh, snow develop in the north and northwest already tonight and during the day tomorrow. Then there will be a secondary disturbance uh, that will move out of the Rockies kind of late tomorrow afternoon into tomorrow evening and then bring one last push of snow to the region during that time frame. And that's probably our best chance of maybe picking up some minor accumulations here, Tri-City southward. But uh, yeah, this will be a, a system that is primarily focused in the northern part of the state. In fact, you know, we could be talking double digit snowfall totals up in north central and northwestern areas. You see how much uh, more of a drop off it is as you get into central areas. So that's why the winter storm warnings are up to the north and west where uh, runs midnight to 6 a.m. Thursday uh, out here to the west and northwest. And then we've got our winter weather advisory shaded in purple, uh, including Kearney. And that will be 9 a.m. Wednesday to 6 a.m. Thursday. And then northeast areas it starts at noon tomorrow and runs till about noon on Thursday. So uh, yeah, this will be a system that moves in tonight and then during the day tomorrow and should be out of here by Thursday, but it's gonna usher in some big changes. Right now we're in the upper 20s to around 30 degrees. Uh, it's actually a very mild start to the day. Winds though starting to pick up south, southeast at around 10 to 15. And by this afternoon, we could get some gusts of around 25 to 30. I think it's gonna be a little bit on the windy side this afternoon. Uh, maybe a few flakes flying up here in the north this morning. Uh, that should move out pretty quickly. And then, yeah, this afternoon looks nice and mild. Enjoy it uh, because our cold front will move through tonight and we'll already start to see snow developing up in the north and west overnight. And I will say this, tomorrow morning, I think during the morning hours tomorrow, we do need to watch for some areas of sleet, maybe some freezing drizzle here in central areas where there could be a little bit of a glaze of ice in some locations. Then we'll start to see some light snow move in in the afternoon. And then here comes that quick burst of some heavier snow tomorrow evening into tomorrow night uh, before everything kind of moves out as we get into uh, early on Thursday. Highs today will be in the 40s and 50s. And by tomorrow afternoon at this time, some of you may be 35 to 45 degrees colder. Uh, this is gonna be an impressive push of cold air. In fact, I don't think we really climb at all tomorrow. I think we're just gonna see temps coming down during the day. By tomorrow afternoon, we may be closer to 15 than we are 24. And then Thursday morning, we're probably gonna see wind chill advisories in effect because wind chill factors could be 25 to 30 below Thursday morning with only a high of 13. It's gonna be brutal. Uh, but it does start to get better. Maybe some snow showers, especially in the east on Friday. But by the weekend, we should be back in the 40s. In fact, our next system comes in Sunday night into Monday and we'll try to bring us rainfall instead of snowfall. But realize that that stretch, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, is gonna be a little tough. So make sure you're ready for it. All right, that's an update for you here on your Tuesday. Hopefully you have a good day. We'll see ya. Get the NTV First Alert weather app now. Weather comes at you fast. Get the information you need to keep safe. Stay ahead of the weather. Download the NTV First Alert weather app now.